Wow, wow, wow. Hello, friends. It's me, Nathan. Welcome to the stream. And also welcome to the stream, my very dear friend, uh, comedian and host of... Uh, oh, God. You you told me what I should say, and I already blew it. It's a <laughs> your radio show on Radio Free Brooklyn. What's the name of the show, Colby? It's called Young Person's Radio. It's called radio. Young Person's Radio. I know it. I've been on it. It was a test. You passed the test, Colby. More than once, Nathan. Yes. <laughs> uh, Colby Smith is here. Thanks for joining me. I'm happy to be here. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, before we get into the stream proper, I do need to thank just so many people who have already subscribed. This is my first stream as a Twitch affiliate, so thank you real quick to Fuzzy Hat Man, Evil Pig Powers, Swilliam Williams, Materia17, Little Manic35, Mike Betancourt, uh, Chad is saying, Obsidians, Fire, Goosenberg, Rearum, Handbasket Gaming, J... AG, Velociraptor, Gusenberg, wait, Gusenberg already, Gusenberg again for gifting a sub to Cam, uh, Cleric Yael, L- uh, Little Manic gave some bits, um, uh, A Pile of Dogs, Night and Bee, Joshua of Michigan, uh, Robid- Robidare, Star Fe- Frecker, oh god, there are more coming in, Devil Toad Witch, RX Bonanza, Spir- Spiral Doodles, Thank you all for subscribing. Og Den for Men. Uh, thank you all for subscribing. Thanks for the hype train. Uh, I'm going to let's start the actual stream. Here we go. There's me. I should draw some stuff, but I'll keep I'll keep <laughs> thanking people as as it comes in. Uh, wow. What an exciting time. What an exciting time to be making content with friends. <laughs> Uh, Colby, thanks so much for joining. Uh, I'm Man, gonna... I'm so excited to be here. I'm gonna start... You know I'm a fan. I'm a Drawfee fan from way back. Oh, yeah. You were a Drawfee fan from before Drawfee was even a thing, I bet. Yes, it is true. <laughs> um, like I was I was telling you before, uh, my goal for, for these streams, the more guests I have, I just want to introduce uh, the folks to all the wonderful, uh, funny, uh, amazing friends I've made uh doing comedy in new york this whole time because i think that my fans are awesome and i think you guys are awesome and you will enjoy each other oh my god that's just very sweet to say that nathan yeah i think you know it now more than ever people need more content and uh <laughs> you're doing it yes i got it for him when when can people tune in to your show so it's it's live on Radio Free Brooklyn, which is a, a, a community-based station um, online every Sunday morning at 10 is my time slot. Nice. Um, but if you, like many of my potential guests who decline being on the show because it's so early, are asleep <laughs> at that hour, uh-huh. uh, you can catch it as a podcast uh, the following day. Nice. And we just got everything on Stitcher and Spotify finally after four years of doing the show. Congrats. So, <laughs> things big, are looking up. You know, I just, uh, for the first time uh, with this, like I've been doing streams with, with uh, Drawfee. This is Nathan's other show uh, because everyone everyone knows me from Drawfee. Mm-hmm. Um, and we never figured out a good system for putting our like videos, recordings of the uh, of the live streams anywhere. Right. So I made a point to do that with uh, with this show. So those those streams do show up on YouTube now slowly, but they do show up there. I'm saving them all. I'm recording them all. Um, trying to trying to make because you're like you're a little impish. You're a bit of a you're a bit <laughs> of an imp. Yes, I think that's fair to say. Yeah, um, you do look crazy without hair right now. I mean, kind you're of, just kind you're of... fast forwarding to not that far in the future. <laughs> <laughs> my look i kind of want to give you like a like a huh like you're doing you're doing like a bit of observational like yeah i <laughs> i i noticed <laughs> I, I see what you're doing there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um because yeah i had pat on last week uh f- mutual mm-hmm. friend of ours pat wise and pat wise audio snacks oh so good they're um, so funny they're so funny they're so good some of them are sad and touching some of them mm-hmm. are just, some of them are just funny. Some of them are uh, a bittersweet mix of both. Nathan, it occurs to me that perhaps we should 
uh, regale your listeners uh, with a, a bureau story. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, here's what here's what's going to happen on the stream is I'm going to get bogged down in drawing and it's really going to be your job to carry the conversation. <laughs> so, um, yeah, absolutely. You OK. Can, yeah. Uh, well, the one that comes to mind, you were a part of the Georgetown Improv Festival, correct? Oh yeah, uh, Slate was, yes. was what it was. Or no, that was um, that was George Washington was was Slate. The Georgetown oh, oh, right, one, right. the Georgetown one was the um, the like improv competition we went to, right? Right. Yes, it was a competition. Um, so uh, backing up a little bit, so Nathan and I met because we both went to the University of Maryland and did comedy in the student group there and that was called the bureau and part of our uh uh duties i guess was to spread the word about how good it could be to see college students do improv <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so silly to say now yes but no By... at, the, at the time and i think it is good it's it's if you are a college student and you are pursuing improv or you're just a young person who's doing improv do it still. It's fun. It's good. Absolutely still do it. Um, but yeah, continue. Um, well, we, we, you being a couple of the other folks who were on the team went to Georgetown University in D.C. Mm -hmm. to do their festival one year. And I think we we like drove down and back just in the one night and went to like the night ended by going to a student party. There was a guy there who had a Captain America shield like a huge one for uh -huh. no reason. And we stole his shield and left the party and drove back to college park. <laughs> Do you I remember don't, this? I don't remember that. <laughs> Was I there for that? <laughs> I think you were. <laughs> okay, I believe I'm it. I my, sure. my memory of the Georgetown one was it was at like a, a weird mall. It was like at a mall we went oh. to. Oh. See, the one I was thinking of, we went to the university and we stepped out of the van and uh, uh, our friend Jack said, look at me at Georgetown like a goddamn senator's daughter. <laughs> See, we were funny even back then. Exactly. And we had bite, you know? Oh, we yeah. Had, we were really... We had a point of view. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay, there are a million more people I need to uh, shout out for subscribing and cheersing because this hype train is at level five. This hype train's at level five. Uh, let's see, who was the last one I said? Um, Spiral Doodles, I think, was the last one I said. So, uh, oh, Ogden for men, I also said. For, for men, for man. Ogden for man. Devil Toad Witch, Crafted Jade, Necro Yampser, uh, Tease Spirit Art, uh, The True Frenchie. I'm sorry if I'm butchering any of these. Uh, Cluster Funks, uh, Barbarian Boy, Fallen Squirrel, Leonard Powers, uh, Valerian Paper, Bumblebeady, Mike Eagle Dick, <laughs> One Glowing <laughs> Bug, uh, Leonard Powers again for bits, um, Sky Griffin, Lux Lucis, Addo, and uh, Little Manic again for the bits. Okay, I'm going to change what my activity feed shows me so it's just subs uh i can't do i can't do the bits i can't do the bits right now i'm sorry that's too much uh thank you thank you anyone who does bits um <laughs> if you got in before i changed that uh congrats so colby how how is this how, do you think that I, I got your your likeness here uh, i i'm really into this picture of me uh nathan great this is my friend colby uh, I love him. You make me, you make me happy. You make me smile, uh, with, with your jokes, with your memories, with your friendship. <laughs> <laughs> right back at you, buddy. <laughs> um, so I think what I want to do on this stream is obviously I want to get audience suggestions to draw stuff, but also I want to be thinking about, uh, emotes that I can sort of lay the groundwork for uh and possibly some sort of because uh a lot of times on streams people have alerts like a sound that happens when you get a new subscriber and i'd love to be just sort of thinking about 
uh, sound that you think mm-hmm. would help exemplify uh, the spirit of Nathan's other show. So I'm, I'm giving you a lot of power here on this stream. You're my second guest uh, I've ever had uh, on a non-Friday stream because, of course, uh, Carolyn Page is my recurring Friday guest. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so uh, okay, yeah. So I'd love it if you could help me choose what to draw next, but also be thinking about emotes and sounds. Sure. So, uh, Pistols of Brian uh, just said, Nathan, the wee sound for sure. Oh, that is a good sound. And someone else, Double Forte, said the wee, my dude. Okay, people like the wee. I guess I'm gonna have to make a wee, a wee sound. Um, maybe a wee, a wee emote as well. Not to be confused with the wee mote from the Nintendo no. Wii. No, we all remember those. We all remember that. We all remember those. We all remember the Wii mote. Maybe I'll try and just like draw a quick like representation of the Wii sound right here. It's sort of like a ee, <laughs> yeah, like that. Um, rear Riru Riru Amda said, "Yeah, the Nintendo Wii mode." <laughs> <laughs> oh man! And um, before the stream started, Colby, you mentioned that um, you're also a big fan of uh, Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic, which is the oh, I, I, I'm so happy to talk about it's this. The, yes. It's the only game that I've streamed on here. I do sort of a combo gaming and art channel. Because mm-hmm. uh, I I can't just do one thing. I'm too multifaceted. I'm too deep. Yeah, uh, I think that the Knights of the Old Republic, the first game, is like one of the best Star Wars products uh, ever. Thank uh, you. I think we're in. Agreement I really on love that. it. I just it's so like complex, and I feel like it like takes a lot of the thematic questions that the movies ask about like the Force and the nature of good and evil and all this stuff. And really just like plays with them in a way that's like fresh and new and um, is really fun. And the story just has so many twists. Uh, I could go on and on. Well, I've got to I've got to <laughs> have you back on then for, for when I play. Not this week because I've got my brother coming on, but maybe yeah. maybe another week. Yeah, I would I would be overjoyed when you play. Nice. Is this your first time playing through? No, no. I, I've played it. Okay. The last time I played it was back in 2012, I think, according to okay, my yes. according to my Steam account. Yes, I also did a 2012 playthrough. Yes, 2012 that's what was it's a like. good year for playing <laughs> old Star Wars games. Absolutely. Um, I was like, I, I want to say it came out in 2004. Yeah, it was. It's an old. It's an oldie. I was, I had it for the PC. It was like one of the, I had this like magical summer in 2004 where I was, uh, that's like my big, my, well, yeah. (laughs) Simpler times. No. Simpler uh... times. Um, But it was like my, my only like really serious like PC gaming phase because I was like a console guy uh, uh, for the rest of the time. But um, I played, Knights of the Old Republic and this Lord of the Rings game called Battle for Middle Earth. Oh sure, uh, that were out around the same time. That and I was would, the I would just, like, um, switch back and forth. It was great. That was like the Age of Empires, but for for Lord of the Rings characters. Sort yes, of. yeah. My brother, just, you, my brother had you, that like, game. It's so fun. <laughs> it's uh, you just like move like units of of yeah. like horsemen around, you know, um, and you destroy like orc forts. Yeah, and um, it's really, really good. Okay, so uh, Lil Manic or Lit Manic thirty five in the chat is asking Colby, which do you like better, uh, Kotor or Kotor two? Uh, and it's a very hard question because I really love Kotor two. I think it's very underrated. I love Kreia as a character. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, I think such like a, she's such a meanie. She just yeah, she just wants you to great. be mean. She hates she's it the, anytime you do anything nice. <laughs> the Olivia Soprano of the Star Wars universe. Uh, <laughs> That's a great. <laughs> she really is. <laughs> she is. Um, but I think the story on Kotor Two is that it was rushed to meet a deadline, and they had this whole back like this whole like final chapter of the game, like after you, you know, spoiler, like uh, defeat Kreia. Mm-hmm. Um, 
that was like just kind of cut out and it kind of ends abruptly. It does end very abruptly. I remember that was my big my biggest disappointment with it was that it like it sets all this stuff up and then yeah it just sort of ends and you're like yeah. well what happens next and then they they never made a third one because they made just like the the MMO version. Yeah, they which I I did you have any experience with that? I did not. No, I could I can't. I can't do MMOs. They take up too much of my life. Video games already take up too much of my life, and an MMO is just like... Yeah. That's just... Some, that's too much. It's far too much. RuneScape was an MMO, right? I believe so. Yeah, that's the only one I ever played. That was... I mean, we're reaching back into the vaults for that one. Um, but to answer your question, uh, Lit Manic, I think I'm going to have to go through, go for KOTOR 1, uh, but I mean... it's more complete. It's more complete, yeah. But yeah. I, I might still play through, uh, 2, because that one is also available for Mac, so... Oh, it is? Oh, nice. Okay. I, this might change quarantine for me, now that I know that. Yeah. I love um... that game. How would you, when you were, like, uh, um, designing your avatar... How, this is, what this is crazy what style are we talking like what would your guy look like in uh in kotor yeah or, hmm well because like they just sort of ha you didn't really get as much customization options as you do in like more uh more uh recently released games so you really just sort of had um like the base faces they gave you to choose between so in my current playthrough, I'm oh, playing. Sure. I'm playing as a, a lady because I never did that when I was younger. I was like, why would Same. I? Why would I play as a lady? But now I'm like, I want to play as a lady. I don't get to be a lady in real life. And I think there are like story differences if you choose. Sure. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I don't know how um, how heteronormative the game is. I don't know what, <laughs> what romance options become available or not available. Oh right. Because I think maybe yes. now I get to romance Karth where uh, I wouldn't have been able to before, but I don't know if I... Yes. I don't know if that means I can't romance Bastila now. Oh, yeah. Um, well, yeah, I wonder. I wonder. I don't know. Maybe maybe the eyes should be closed and sort of, like, going, like, uh, like, a, like a classic happy, like, yee. Yeah. Because I, I look like... I look kind of like a, a monster with this, and I'm, I'm sort of... <laughs> I'm sort of struggling here. Yeah, this um, kind of looks. This kind of looks like you're laughing, which is, uh, which is good. Yeah, that's good. And maybe like, because we want it, we want it to be able to read at like a very small size. Obviously, I'll need mm -hmm. to like refine this off off stream. <laughs> but this is kind of like a wee. Maybe maybe teeth on the bottom. Also, I never draw teeth on the bottom. I I don't know why. Mm. I feel like that makes it too crazy. Yeah. Um, and then maybe just like hair, hair sort of like this. Mm -hmm. And and my my Cintiq today is doing this fun thing. It's been doing this thing on on stream where it'll just forget about um, it'll just forget about the uh, the pressure sensitivity. But now <laughs> just today it started doing this fun thing where um. It uh, if I erase somewhere and then erase somewhere else, it'll just make a big eraser block line from where I erase to the new erase spot, which is cool, which is very, very cool. cool. It's very cool and what I want always. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's like these things are expensive. I don't want to like buy a new one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna get used to hitting. I always, I already hit undo a bunch, so I'll probably just get used to this being part of my workflow. Yeah. Um, this could be a Wii. Yeah. This could maybe be a Wii. I don't know. This could be a fun. Uh, you know, just Electric like... Gauntlet said, "Yeah, it's a little happy Sasquatch." This, this is a happy Sasquatch. Ooh, the door done buzz. Oh. The door done Did buzz you... in my house. Hold on. Did you? Oh man, I wonder. Okay, hello chat. It's just me, Colby. Uh, now, um, right, I can't okay. draw. Not it's like okay. Nathan. I'm here. Um, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Emily's got it. Emily's on okay, top good. of it. <laughs> <laughs> but I love your instincts, there, Colby. That's why. That's why I knew you'd yes. be a great uh, guest to to get yeah. on. Love a gay said vamp, Colby. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, oh, that's so funny. All right. Well, since I, I've finished this, I think every time I finish a drawing, I will just go back and look at all of the uh, subscribers I've gotten uh, and and thank them all. So let's see. Where was the last one? Uh, what was the last one? Was it? Was it? Oh, I don't remember. I recognize some of these names. Fallen Squirrel. If I say your name twice, you just get you just get it twice. That's just what's gonna happen. Uh, I remember. Joshua. I remember. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I remember Mike Eagle Dick. Yes. <laughs> uh, Sky Griffin, Lux Lucis Addo, Koala Tums, Alame, Negapole, Leonard Powers, Awesome Andra. Awesome Andra gifted ten subs. Thank you so much, Awesome Andra. You truly are awesome, Andra. Um, <laughs> MS Disco and. Uh, Wicker Fiend 95. Okay, we're going to remember Wicker Fiend 95 as the starting yes. place for the next run of names. Thank you all so much for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. You know, maybe if I get enough subscribers, I will be able to afford a new Cintiq and then I can <laughs> not have to deal with this. But, you know, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. I, I complain, but I'm doing fine. <laughs> I'm just going to bounce this around. Colby, do you want to uh, pick me a new drawing suggestion? Sure. Yeah, I would love to get some. So somebody, uh, shave and a haircut, said that his unofficial emote wish list is thanks, Nathan, happy elephant, and matzo ball soup. Oh, those are those are all very good. Those are all very me. It feels good to have someone who knows me so well. <laughs> uh, I'd love to do a happy elephant emote. Um, yeah, let's try and make it like sort of nice and round. Uh, and I guess, I don't know, maybe if people would be interested in, in watching me try and refine some of these, I could do that maybe in the, the later half of the stream. Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can just get like a happy elephant in here. Oop, it's doing the pressure sensitivity thing again. Yeah. Nate, I, I have to say uh, it was very hard for me just now not to uh, say you should draw Mike Eagle dick. <laughs> We'll save that because at the end of the stream, at the end of the stream, we um, we do a thing called the name game where I do draw just based on people's uh, Twitch handles. And I don't know that okay, I've perfect. I don't know that I've ever drawn Mike Eagle Dick. And I feel like <laughs> if Mike Eagle Dick's still watching by the end of the stream, uh, that that does seem like a fun challenge to draw uh, an eagle dick. Would that be an eagle's <laughs> dick or a dick that looks like an eagle? I, I don't know. A, I, I think it's a dick that looks like I think an I, eagle. Yeah, I think that... <laughs> I think it's absolutely a dick that looks like an eagle. Uh, um, yeah, it's a little happy elephant. All right. Let's oh, he's see. looking real happy. Looking real happy. Just happy to be here. Um... And again, we just have to, the, the key with all of these emotes is just being able to test them and see if they work at, at a smaller size. But these are, these are going to be sort of like test concepts. And I don't know if we want to get the full elephant in there or if it should just be like the elephant's face. Let's see. Let's see about it. Maybe give him like an ear. That's fun. That's a happy friend. People, by the way, are clarifying in the chat, Nate, that um, Mike Eagledick came from Jacob and Julia's SSS stream. Oh, that's um, that's their secret sleepover society. That's my my Drawfee co-host, Jacob and Julia, have a very yes. popular uh, Twitch channel. Uh, well, great. What were they playing? <laughs> I, I'd love to know. <laughs> Someone the... made a an illusion. They said that the origins of Mike eagle dick were so cursed but so funny okay great that was liudi nadoyeli that sounds like everything on their their channel very cursed. alpha protocol they were playing alpha protocol okay thank you chat the chat the chat guys, we're vibing tonight yeah i feel very good about the chat oh the chat is so good always i i'm so happy to again i'm so happy to introduce my friends to the chat because the chat is always on their best behavior and uh, I think I've done a pretty good job making friends uh, up up here, up here in the big city. And I yeah. think, you know, the quarantine, we're keeping people apart, but we're also bringing people together. <laughs> That's right. Um, 
I would I would tell a little story of the time you were on my radio show, Nathan, if I could embarrass you for a second. Oh, absolutely. Um, so I, I host a call-in show that's live on, on Radio Free Brooklyn, which is, a uh, again, a community uh, radio station in uh, operates out of Bushwick. And Nathan was on one of my first episodes because, you know, we're old buddies. And this was a couple years ago now. And I take calls on the show. And the first person who called the show was like, hello is this nathan and you were like yes and she went oh my god i can't believe i got through and like <laughs> i was like okay like this is a uh uh very like low stakes like 12 people are listening to this <laughs> show live. and she's like oh my god i thought the phones would be crammed and it was just <laughs> it was just because like she knows that like you and Drafi are so popular <laughs> and, like, and just like she was like so sweet and i think her question was like you know, like, uh, I, I just, like, I want to draw stuff that, like, uh, like makes me happy. And, like, I don't want to, like, draw stuff that's, like, too commercial. And you were like, yeah, you have to. Like, you've got to draw stuff that makes you happy. It was, like, the nicest call I've ever gotten on my show. <laughs> <laughs> and it happened too early in the uh, uh, in the run of the show. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, I do remember that. That was very sweet. Uh, it was a very sweet call to it get. Was very nice. And, uh yeah uh it makes me happy y'all y'all make me uh y'all make me look good in front of my friends so thank you yeah it was good (laughs) (laughs) um oh okay here we go maybe a couple little tufts of hair on this elephant friend Mm -hmm. i don't know does that make sense yeah elephants don't have that but i don't know how that'll look small either you know we're trying stuff i think this is a pretty good little happy elephant emote let's see Let's just see how it looks small. I'll probably have to thicken up the lines on these when uh but let's see. Like that that still kind of reads as elephant even at that size. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll come back and ink and color some of these uh as we go. But there was nice. happy elephant, a thank you. Would that just be the words thank you? Maybe like do some fun like like text art. I'm terrible at I that. I think it the the no, not to be a stickler, Nathan, but I think the suggestion was thanks all caps. Oh, just a thanks, just an just all a caps. Thanks. Okay. So, um, no, uh, I I need you to be a stickler, Colby, because otherwise I'll I'll mess it up. Um, Litmanic thirty five also said um that they want an emote of the technical difficulties chinchilla. Oh, that was okay. So my very first stream that was um two weeks ago um two weeks ago monday so a full exactly two weeks ago uh the very first thing i drew on stream was a technical difficulties sign i was just like i figure <laughs> i should have one uh-huh. uh i can put it up right now actually because i do have it in case we we experience technical difficulties mm-hmm. and um uh i finished drawing the sketch for it and all of twitch went down <laughs> 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 for like an hour. That's so... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um Oh man, that's really funny. <laughs> yeah. Um let's see. Maybe what if I did it like cuz the the emotes are kind of square shaped. So what if it was like tha mm-hmm. and then nsk ink unks <laughs> Yeah. Like this. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. That's great. This one I will not be uh, inking <laughs> on <laughs> on stream. This one's good. This one needs some work, but just as like a, a proof of concept. Yeah. Yeah, just it's out there. That and then maybe like a, like an exclamation point that covers the whole thing. Something like that. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, maybe like <laughs> something like this, you know, make it make it a party. Oh, nice! That's really good. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of a Liechtenstein kind of. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a fun. I so our friend Matt um likes to do these these fun like themed character shows, and I remember um I remember he had me on one that was set in um what was it it was uh the the uh was it cbgb or was it uh like a, a different 
um, sort of punk. It was it was either CBGB or uh, Max's Kansas City. It was Max's like Kansas City, I think. Lesser known uh, punk venue at the time. And so I I my character that I went as was uh, Roy Roy Lichtenstein. And yes. The bit the bit I did was uh, I was drawing uh, drawing animals in the style of Roy Lichtenstein. <laughs> yes. So I would get like a suggestion of an animal, like a cat. And I draw a cat, you know, just like a real simple cat. Uh, this was like using Sharpie, so it couldn't undo. But I do a little cat, and then I would have the um, just the one. I don't know if people are familiar, but it's just like the the one with like the sad lady on the phone, and she's just sort of going like, <laughs> "Oh yes, yes." She's like going like, <laughs> she's saying like. Uh, got the lips and she's going like because <laughs> like this painting it's just a, it's just a drawing of a lady on the phone saying oh okay she's like sadder i think she's like oh, oh. okay and it's it's sold for like 40 million dollars or something ridiculous yeah and so i would just draw this but for every animal they suggested, and I would say that's worth forty million dollars, and that was the bit. Uh, it was a fun show. It. I mean, this <laughs> is making me laugh so much. <laughs> yeah. So this is my this is my Roy Lichtenstein uh, character. Oh, that's so good. Thank you for reminding me about that. Yeah. Uh, that was really. I I learned recently that um. And maybe this is only my own uh, ignorance, and maybe like this is like wide knowledge. But I didn't realize that Andy Warhol's factory was like in Midtown. Oh yeah, it was like in the East Forties. Um, and I just like he's such a like downtown figure in my head. Uh, and uh, I thought that was interesting. Yeah, yeah, <sighs> he's a downtown figure, but his factory is in Midtown. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, uh, I think he's cool. I like him. <laughs> it's it's crazy to think about these places that are like so close to me physically, but now are just so far away in terms of me ever visiting them again. Totally. Yeah. I mean, even when the city was uh, functional, I uh, was like, I went to Midtown like once a month. Yeah, you didn't want to go to Midtown. If you had to no. go to Midtown, it was I, I went to Midtown. I used to work in Midtown. And let me tell you. Same, yeah. Yeah, it was not. <laughs> wasn't the best place to be <laughs> um people are saying they want this cat as an emote and i bet i bet we could make an oh okay emote i don't yeah, know how many i don't know how many emotes i get as an affiliate i remember because i was spoiled i got to be uh, a partner so quickly uh with Drawfee, and now i'm now i'm doing it i'm, I'm blazing my own trail <laughs> Um, but... Oh, sorry. N B N Y S H said, "Can you translate for the non-New Yorkers?" I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to be so New York. Uh, uh, no, this is a New York show. <laughs> We're based out of New York. We talk about no. Yeah, we can. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a reasonable thing to ask. Uh, I know it's so re if we were just like, yeah, no, like get a life, like. <laughs> um. Yeah, so uh, we. Oh, someone in the so sorry, someone in the chat already uh, uh, said it. Said Midtown. Uh, this is uh, Igmu Sapa. <laughs> said Midtown is just below Times Square and full of jerky business guys. That's a pretty good. Uh, that's ex pretty much exactly how I would describe it. Yeah, jerky business guy. But it's like it's a hub. Like Midtown is because it's so. It's like it's where all the buses get in. Like it's be between yeah. uh, Port Authority and Penn Station. It's just like. It's it's where all the tourists are. It's just it's just crowded and overpriced and full of like people who sh who yeah like tourists, uh, shitty businessmen, and then people who are trying to take advantage of the tourists. Yes. Uh, and and then just people like me who happen to <laughs> have their office there who are just angry <laughs> that they have to be there at all. Yes. So it's like that's why New York gets uh, a reputation as people being rude is because majority of people they see are in Midtown and no one's happy to be in Midtown. No, no, <laughs> no one wants to be there. <laughs> it's like people from out of town who are like, wow, <laughs> buildings. <laughs> and then people who are there yeah. like, oh, my God, I, I, anything but this, please. 
Um, yeah, and BNYSH so said thank you, and I will say to you, you're welcome. <laughs> Is jerky business guy mean business guy or guy who sell jerky? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think probably both in this case. They're selling yeah. everything. They got the nuts for nuts over there. The It smells delicious, but it's just nuts. I don't know how it smells so good. Oh, I know. It's oh, not man. what they taste like. Um, okay. Uh, I finished the drawing. So the last one was Wicker Friend 95. We got uh, William Buttlicker. Very good name, William Buttlicker. Thank you uh, for subscribing. Uh, Se- Seagull Killer. Seagull Killer? Is it like Steven Seagull Killer? Mm-hmm. Uh, Kek- Kekis. Kekis. And mm-hmm. Pistols O'Brien. Thank you all for subscribing. Uh, great. That was fun. That was that was some fun New York chat. I love yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> I love to remember where I live because it's like, oh yeah, I do live in this city still, mm-hmm. even though my life is just this apartment and sometimes the yes. laundromat around the corner, but yeah. mostly this apartment. Laundromat, uh, occasionally, um, for me, the Trader Joe's on Gold Street. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, Trader Joe's. Uh. Yeah, we bra- we braved it for the first time. In, How is in it there? Almost two months recently, um, and it, it, you know what? It was uh, pretty good. They, there's like a big line outside, but they keep it moving pretty fast, and like they're really limiting the number of people who are in there, so you have a lot of space to move, um, uh, which is uh, great and helps the like stress of uh, everything. Um, I'm just doodling. But I gotta get my uh, I gotta get my dark chocolate sea salt honey grams. You gotta, so I gotta go. That's just I mean that's just yeah that's an essential. Uh, we got a couple more uh, popped in as I was reading them. So let's say spicy candlesticks, Rex Nemesis, and uh, and Reed Gee. Thank you all for subscribing. Um, this wasn't a suggestion anyone sent in. This is just sort of like a go-to face that I draw when I don't know what else to do, and I felt like <laughs> there needed to be something on screen. So. Uh, there are a couple other emote requests. Okay, let's get them. Um, well, there's the technical difficulties chinchilla, but there's also matzo ball soup. Matzo ball soup, of course, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, the technical difficulties chinchilla, I'm not going to redraw. I think I'll probably just do some sort of cropping of that, and maybe maybe thicken up the lines on it. Um, so we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that right now. That'll involve opening files, and people don't need to see how I have my files organized. <laughs> it's, it's poorly is the answer. Um, but we could get a matzo ball soup for sure. That's a very New York uh, uh, dish. It's my favorite food. Really? Yes, it's my favorite food, and um, Passover was... I guess recent. I don't know. Days yeah. days blend together. It was pretty recent, and um, you know, typically I I go see my family for Passover, and I get to enjoy my dad's delicious matzo ball soup. Uh, but uh, didn't didn't get to do that this year. So I tried my hand at making it based on his recipe, and um, people were very supportive of that. They um, yeah. I tweeted about it. I talked about it in a Drawfee episode, and then I tweeted a, a picture of, of the soup after I made it, and uh, everybody everybody was very nice on uh, online about it, um, and so I shared my recipe and my my dad's recipe. I asked it was it was very funny. I because I I really wasn't expecting so many people to be like, could you share the recipe? And so mm-hmm. I I checked I I checked with my dad before doing that because i didn't want to just like share it without his permission and his response was the most my dad response which was uh it's a pretty standard recipe i don't see why you couldn't share it it's <laughs> like yeah it's pretty standard i don't know <laughs> go go yeah. for it um we attempted we made some monster balls uh ball soup for passover also uh, oh really yeah uh uh vegetarian uh, uh, style no, uh, well, I think we did. Yeah, um, it was like, well, no, we used chicken broth. Oh, okay. We used chicken broth. Oh, yeah, right. but didn't okay. have. I don't think we had any chicken in it. Um, but it went pretty well for a first time, I think. Yeah. Um, 
but it was fine. Yeah, Hallie <laughs> observes, so uh, had to celebrate, and it was uh, really fun. That's awesome. Lava, Lava Gay is asking Colby, are you Jewish? I am not, but my girlfriend is, and that's uh, how we celebrated. We had a, a miniature Seder. <laughs> and I believe um, a, a member of our of our comedy troupe, the Bureau, once once told you you'd, you'd make a good Jew. I think that was... <laughs> yeah. I think that's and and I and I as a Jew I I concur I think you uh, I think you would so oh thank you, know, you if you're ever thinking about converting I'll put in a good word for you thank you Nathan <laughs> that means a lot yeah um, I'm going way back in the chat but uh, uh, Rob Adair asked what would be the best place to visit in New York if you want to avoid the stuff that annoys locals oh interesting um that's a good question it's hard because like we're so easily annoyed um i mean like i love chinatown i think chinatown's really cool yeah um if you it, also it's just like the the trope of like everything being overpriced in new york not in chinatown you can get five yeah. dumplings for a dollar in Chinatown, and they're the, oh, they're the best damn dumplings you ever had. Oh, um, that's great. Yeah, Chinatown's great. Um, I mean, I really like Williamsburg. I know that's not mm -hmm. like New York, Manhattan, New York, but I think Williamsburg has like, it's like kind of crowded, but the, the sidewalks are wide enough mm -hmm. that it's not so bad. Um. The High Line is cool because, like, that's just tourists, and yeah, and like, yeah. so you can just be among your people, and you don't need to worry about being in anyone's way. Like, no one's using the High Line to commute. At least I don't think they are. Mm. So, yeah, yeah. I, uh, those are, I'm sticking. Those are I, I was uh, I was working in Chinatown before, um, uh, you know, the the lockdown set in, um, and uh, I agree with you. I think it's it's low-key one of the top like three neighborhoods in the, the city uh you can start at little canal and get your coffee and you can go to ming's cafe to get really good chinese for lunch and then you can see a movie at the metrograph in the afternoon and there's your day that's a day that's a good day yeah and yeah and like the people there they're not going to be like they're not going to be mean to you they're like the the little old ladies walking around like they will just they will just fully um They'll just shove past you. They they're not gonna be yeah, they're yeah. not gonna be mean. They'll just get they'll just get around you, like if you're yeah, exactly. if you're standing and gawking. <laughs> it's not the same. No one will yell at you. They'll just yeah. You'll just get you'll just get a little bumped. You'll get a little bumpus, but it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Um. But yeah. Uh, shaving a haircut said this looks like Paper Mario food. Hello. Hello. Another good game. <laughs> Another great game. That's one I never finished because we um we rented it from the video rental store and never finished it. Oh yes. And that's hard because yes. those were back when it was um I I'm thinking of the N sixty four Paper Mario. I don't know how many yeah. Paper Marios there have been. Um because I'm a fake I'm a fake gamer, it turns out. <laughs> but um those cartridge games, the save files were on the cartridge, so it was like, well, once you send it back, it's gone. <laughs> Got to start <laughs> over. I know people just erase your progress. Yep, and they should. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, they, they rented it; it's theirs now. But yeah, I think yeah. this could be a good, uh, maybe a little, a little sizzle. Oh yeah, a little sizzle coming off. Again, that looks great. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think this will be fun. Like we are, we're reaching the halfway mark soon. Um, show me them transform controls. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that could be a good emote. I think I, honestly, I think the lines could be even thicker. I think I'm gonna like really thicken up the lines on these guys. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe in the second half of the show, I'll go in and and try and and polish up one or two of these. See how long that takes. But this is great. Colby, I'm so glad you're here for this process. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm having a great time. <laughs> um, I love Monster Ball Soup. <laughs> it's so good. It's just it's such a forgiving recipe to making soup because you just mm -hmm. you just throw a bunch of stuff in a pot and if it doesn't taste good, just cook it longer. Yeah. Get, get those flavors out. 
I feel like we should draw some kind of uh, uh, like a video, like a car, like an N64 cartridge or something. Oh, okay. I could try. I could try and do that. Do a little N64. Oh wait, but let me let me look at the. There have been some other uh, other ones coming in from the chat. Okay, you let look. You look at that. that. I did finish this drawing, so I am obligated to see who who all subscribed. Uh, I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, Pistols O'Brien. I think I said spicy candlesticks. Rex Nemes. Raid Gi. Uh, Reed Gi. Sorry. Uh, Incubus Jewels and Liudi Nad Nado Yelly. I'm so sorry about the pronunciation. Liudi Nadoyeli? Nadieli? I don't know. I'm saying, you know, I'm sounding it out. That's what they taught us to do in like first grade, and uh, I still use that from time to time, sounding it out. Oh, here we go. Here's one. Okay. So there are two. Uh huh. Someone said we should draw the Ranger Joe theme song because we were talking about Trader Joe's. And the other one, Joshua of me said, the message from Nathan's parents on the Nathan themed Drawfee Variety Hour is one of my favorite moments in Drawfee history. We should get a Nathan's parents emote. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I could probably draw I could probably draw them. I maybe hmm. Can I get both of them in one emote? I wonder. It's because the emotes are so mm. small. It's like one face is already pretty hard. Um Someone says, oh, Pat Bayer's in chat people. watching. Hi. Whoa. Hi, Pat Bayer. Hey. I recall, uh, I have a fun Pat Bayer and you story that I remember uh, because we were on an improv team together. And I remember we did, uh, we did a show at like an improv competition. And mm -hmm. we did not win the competition. And I, I thought the team as a whole did well, but I was a little disappointed in my own performance after that show. Uh -huh. And uh, and Pat Bayer was, I believe, working tech for that show. And he came up to me afterwards and was like, hey, I'm a fan of Drawfee. And I think that might have been... Because uh, I've talked with Pat since then. Um, but I think that was the first time he had, like, come up and I identified himself to me as a, as a fan of Drawfee. Like, I was aware of who he was because he's, like, a, a mm -hmm. fixture at the, at the UCB. Um, and... That made me feel really good. I was I was feeling down about the show, and then he made me feel really good about myself. Yeah. Uh, so thanks, Pat, for doing that. Thanks, Pat. Um, on Nathan's behalf, I don't know why I'm thanking him for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, do it. Yeah. <laughs> you're 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 yes anding. Yeah, it's yeah that's right. Um, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Should it just be like? Should it be both of them. If it's both of them, because it's like it's got to be a square shape. So let me get let's get like a square shape, just as like a it's like a background image. Mm. It's gonna be tricky. Maybe I'll give them like because my parents have very round faces, mm. um, and so I want to I'd want to accentuate that. So maybe like one down here and the other one up. Put the other one up. <laughs> um let's see yeah something like this it was mother's day recently i had a nice chat with my mom for mother's day yeah same yeah my brother sent her a card i had a chat with her so between the two of us we did we did a mother's day you guys are a good son Yes, we together we are each one half of a good son. Together we make one good <laughs> son. <laughs> All right, what does my mom's hair do? It's like sort of like we'll we'll, we'll simplify it for this. This isn't really what it does, but this is it's sort of like this idea. It's got sort of like your dad is uh, very into classical music. Do I have? Am I remembering that yep, right? Yep, yep. He loves a classical music. He has like a uh, really big. Uh, like a library of of recordings of concertos and that kind of thing. Oh yeah, he's got he's got a big vinyl vinyl collection and a CD collection, digital collection now. I guess it was CDs and now I think he just has like MP3s. Um and he'll just he'll just walk around 
with his little uh, MP3 player like clipped to his sweatpants while he does various stuff around the house. <laughs> yeah, let's make it like real simple. Like here's my mom. That's basically her. She's got glasses. Yeah. Oh yes. That's her. That's Should a spitting image of her, Nathan. That's that's her hair. Again, we'll, this is a sketch. We'll we'll fix we'll fix it. We'll fix it in post. Um, can move her. Double on. forte. Uh, double forte. Uh, Nathan is thinks it's very funny that you said the sentence. What does my mom look like? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a regular <laughs> that's a regular artist sentence. It's like things you look at every day or like should have a very clear knowledge of and you're just like sit down to draw it and go, so what does that actually look like though? Yes. Um, that's really funny. Yeah, that's her. Uh she's a little bring concerned. it back to the beginning, uh -huh. Nathan. Uh, you your uh, uh parents we've stopped at your parents' place on the way to a different improv festival. Oh yeah! After after college, we right. were going down to North Carolina. Oh, that was a fun trip. That was really fun. I Driving never... the van. <laughs> you got so annoyed with this one guy at one of the venues we were performing. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like, well, <laughs> just wouldn't. He just wouldn't give you the information. Like it was clear he knew the information, but you didn't ask the right way. And he was like, well, I don't know anything about that. And. You... <laughs> It's like, did this sort of slow turn to me, like, what is, okay, <laughs> like, did I? I thought you were going to talk about the guy in one of the teams on our show asking for a, a suggestion, and then him. Oh, uh, yes, giving... no, that also was, yeah, say that one. You did... he at, so that we, we, we did our improv set and then there was a team after ours that was like local to the area so like a bunch of people had come out to see them mm -hmm. and they asked for a suggestion of an adjective right and i said stately stately and which is is an, an adjective, adjective. <laughs> and <laughs> the guy goes uh that's an adverb <laughs> and it's not <laughs> <laughs> and I was like I was like no it's not <laughs> and, you, and you sat there with arms folded for their entire set just fuming <laughs> I do oh what a good time it was really funny <laughs> no it's not uh, <laughs> that's an adverb and then he like you know he got a he got a word from somebody else and i think he then asked for any word because uh they used stately clearly... they did use stately it was the yeah. stately pepper, oh yes the yes. stately, the peppercorn, stately peppercorn, peppercorn was their musical improv set mm. um and uh you know it was uh it was about it was crazy it's about what you would expect <laughs> um let's see lava gay says i love getting to hear about nathan doing improv we don't know enough this cat's out of the bag, Nathan. Yep. Yeah. This is this is them. Those are my parents. I give them a little like Muppet nose. I don't know. My dad's got like a little, <laughs> little sort of. There we go. Give my mom a nose too. Um. Yeah, that's them. Maybe another one of these. Again, I don't know how this will translate to like the actual emote size. I feel like they're they're far too far too small but maybe i'll make an individual my mom and dad or maybe this is just a drawing of them i don't know we'll see Aww. again we'll see what the limitations are on how many emotes i can do as an affiliate <laughs> uh i should have maybe checked beforehand but that's not how i do things here on the show i'm actually pretty happy with how this the likeness of my dad my mom this is a more idealized version of her yeah uh I think I just I think that's just what my dad looks like. Yeah, this looks a lot like your dad, honestly. Yeah. Uh all right. Well that's that's that drawing. Let's um all right. let's read some more. Uh ooh, an anonymous gifter gave out a tier one sub to shave in a haircut. Uh let's see. Cantaloper 
uh, Rebeccaroni, Straggly Cheetah. Thank you all. Uh, Joshua of Michigan gave out one to my brother. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Okay, so Tap Dance Druid has been asking very, has been very patient about uh, uh, wanting a fancy bird. Okay. Yeah, we can do a fancy bird. This does. This won't be an emo. This will just be a, a fancy bird. I think that's a good yeah. a good break in the emo because we're about at the halfway point. So I'll draw the fancy bird. That'll be like the palate cleanser, and then maybe we can dive back in and and do, um, do some cleanup on a couple of these. I think maybe the matzo ball soup and the elephant will mm. be the the two that I I do uh do a little cleanup on on the okay, show. Cool. Also, it's loop liches got in, got in while I was looking. But yeah, let's draw a fancy bird. Um, I do love a fancy bird. Um, because there's so many different types of birds, you know. Oh, it's doing that thing. Just more, oh, no. just more use out of the uh, out of the undo key. That's all. <laughs> so you think it should be like a snooty fancy bird, or maybe it's like a, a happy? It's like happy to be so fancy. Yeah, I think have. I think it. It's uh. It. It's it, it likes its life. Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, you know, like it doesn't need to it doesn't need to tear people down to enjoy being fancy. It just likes being fancy, and that's just that's just itself. It's like oh, yeah, oh. it's like yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, I'm fancy, but there's plenty of room at the top. Everybody, rising tide raises all ships. That <laughs> raises sort of all thing. ships. That's right. Um, yeah, I like this face a lot that I've done. Um, I, I will say one more thing about this North Carolina uh, improv festival trip that we took, Nathan. Yeah. And that is on the way back, mm-hmm. I believe, you and I battled in Pokemon Red, and you destroyed me with one Pokemon. Oh, well, that that's only part of the story. Okay, Because yeah. what happened was you, you informed me that you um, had downloaded Pokemon Red view, via the Nintendo, like, eShop on yes. your uh, on my 3ds on your 3ds so uh and you had like you were at a uh you had been playing the game for a little while and so yeah. i i downloaded it i think at the beginning of that trip and my goal was by the end of the trip to have a team that was at the same <laughs> level as your team so yes. that we could have a battle I remember this. So now. I was playing the game the entire time. Like any downtime we had, I was just like playing, like getting my team ready. Mm. And so when we finally did have the battle, I was so hype. I was so hype for it. And then yeah, I think I think I did just take you out with my with my Taurus. Was it Tor? I in my memory, it was Gyarados. Maybe it was Gyarados. Yeah. Uh, but well, I also I- would not be at all surprised if it all it took was a Taurus. It was it was either Taurus or Gyarados. Yeah. Um, you know, we have fun. <laughs> it was an honor to lose to you, Nathan. It was a good time. <laughs> I also, <laughs> uh, I was also big into this game. I think this was a different trip. I think it was the Albany one we took. Mm-hmm. Um, our, oh, I know, I know a story you're going to tell. <laughs> okay. So we went to, we went to Albany and we were taking a, uh, we were taking a bus up there. And our um, another another person on our team, Ryan, um, who I should I should check up on him, see how he's doing. Mm-hmm. It's crazy how you just like know people for a while, and then yeah. and then you just like completely lose touch. But I really enjoyed Ryan. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, a really good guy. But um, you know what? Maybe maybe like a one of these one of these type dealies sort of like a yeah oh my god i'm sorry to stop you nathan but shaving a haircut just told a great story he said oh man my pokemon battle irl story is that the rich kid in school got a game shark and made his blastoise level 100 and maxed out stats and its hydro pump one shot my level 50 something venusaur (laughs) (laughs) brutal that's really funny Um. Anyway, so I had been playing this game called uh, Lords of Waterdeep, which is a yes. it's a board game, uh, but you can get the app on your 
uh, on your mobile device. You can play it on, um, I think you can play it on computer also, but I've just been playing it on my phone. Mm -hmm. And I just sort of jokingly was like, uh, because we were like, you know, trying to come up with something, something to do on the bus ride. I was like, you guys want to play Lord of Wa- Lords of Waterdeep? And Ryan just goes, I don't know what that is, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just, it was so it was, it was so desperate. It was like there was so much in his just like, I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is, bro. I don't know what that is, bro. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> he's like the friendliest guy. I'd never heard him like take that tone with I me know. about anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh it's so funny um we yeah, like i don't know if that's bus. funny to anyone else but i'm glad i i'm glad i shared that uh <laughs> that memory with everyone watching right, right now, now. Right, now. <laughs> right now it seems like the chat is just happy that they know about the lures of Waterdeep app it sounds like people did not know oh it's great yeah absolutely get the app and get the expansions Nathan, too skullport Nathan, get skullport get say, under mountain did you just say absolutely I wish I had. You you I said really... you said absolutely. <laughs> you take credit I, for that. I really thought that you said that. I was uh, I thought you could get credit. <laughs> no, it's okay. All right, this bird is taking a turn, but we're we're gonna figure it out. One of my favorite go. art teachers growing up would refer to um, painting as solving a painting. And I think that like has really stuck with me because it really is like you reach a point where you're like, I need to solve this. I've like yes. gotten myself into this predicament and I can't waste all the work I just did. So I need to solve this. Mm-hmm. Um, I think maybe he's got like his wings out like, ooh, I don't know. What are you? <laughs> oh, come in, come in. Yeah, maybe he's got like one sort of right this behind. way. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. This is a fancy. He's like a. Oh yeah. See, we're getting Come into my foyer. <laughs> Please, and then we'll just give him like. He'll be Donald Duck in it. I think that's. Yeah, the... yeah, yeah. I think that's the correct. I think that's the correct way to do this. Is to, I mean, Donald Duck really knows about bird fashion. <laughs> I feel like, but let's do let's do give him. Maybe like tails, but like it's also his tail is down here too. Yeah. So it's like, how do tails work like this? Oh, yes. Now, see, with the tails, it looks like he's like introducing his orchestra. Yeah. Because, yeah, like we this... didn't we didn't say like, a, yeah, he's he's a fancy bird and fancy can yeah. mean a whole a whole bunch of things. Yeah. Maybe he's a maestro. Yeah, yeah he's a conductor. I'm going to give he's him like getting applause. You give him like a like a twig. That's what he conducts with. Is a little twig. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. Um, Alan James in the chat said, "I feel like this bird just committed a crime." <laughs> <laughs> it it does kind of have a little like, "Who me? Not me." <laughs> oh man, I don't know if you can hear the people who live next door to me. They're not even in my building. It's like I share a wall with another building. And so I never hear anyone uh, in my building. I feel like the walls in our building are pretty good. But for some reason, the wall is particularly thin in the room I record in. And uh, the people who live next door to me, I never know what they're saying, but they just, they, they've got such distinctive voices. And one of them's got such a deep voice and he's always like, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Yesterday yeah. they were playing this one song over and over again. Um, and- You know what, do you, do you remember what song? No, I don't, I, could, I couldn't recognize the song, but I just, it just they it was I was like there's no way this is a bunch of different songs. It's like yeah. the same hook I keep hearing over and over. And I you know I'll play the same song over and over again if I'm if I'm really really vibing on it. But yeah, I was just in I was just in this room for so long playing D and D and just hearing this this song playing over and over again. Mm-hmm. It's not an yeah, interesting I, um... story, but it's. Uh... <laughs> no 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 it is what happened 
uh, when I first moved to New York, um, I lived all the way up in Washington Heights, uh, which again, for, for, um, our non New York, uh, audience is like way, way, way far away at the top of, of Manhattan. Um, that's on the West side, right? Yeah. 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 Um, and I was, you know, I was unemployed. I was just like applying to jobs all day out of our, our little kitchen. And I, I shared a room that's, you know, did not have a lot of money. And we like lived downstairs. I'm like, did you not a trumpet player? Oh, gosh. Who I like, he seemed to just be learning the trumpet. Uh-oh. because He was just like doing scales all the time. You got to do. Then, I mean, fundamentals, you know, you that's... got I mean, you got to drill. them. It's very important to do them. Uh, your dad would know all about that. <laughs> Um, but then one day after like two weeks of hearing this person practice every day at like three o'clock i heard them play all of that song that was like black and yellow black and yellow black and yellow black and yellow on the trumpet on the trumpet it's just like out of nowhere wow it was incredible that was so it was worth it so what you're saying was it was all worth it after two weeks of drilling scales exclusively, <laughs> they have mastered the trumpet. <laughs> That's incredible. I, I don't think I ever knew that story. See, it's like sometimes having an audience for a conversation with your friend makes the conversation better. That's true. Yeah. We can't just do what we always do, Nathan, which is just go, well, I guess this is ending. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> just see what what else is anyone just got to say? Walk away. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, okay. Well. Good to see you. Uh, yeah. Got any shows <laughs> yeah. coming up? Nope. Okay. Well. See you. <laughs> yeah. It's always no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh man. Umbreon seven one seven said, "There's nothing worse than le- listening to someone learn the fundament the fundamentals of an instrument." Yeah, I got you. I got you. I'm with you on that one. Uh, it's tough. In college, there was like um. In my in one of my dorms, there, we had a a person who was like a um, I don't know a voice major or minor, yeah. And he had he had like a very high, beautiful singing voice, but it was just mm. always it was always a little fun to just sometimes be in my in my room just like playing video games and just all of a sudden hear like <laughs> you know, no, it's just like someone <laughs> yeah, just like this guy on our floor. Nathan, those that was some that was really impressive. That yeah, well I learned it I learned it from him. <laughs> I learned it from listening to yeah. So oh, like, um Koala Tums in the chat says my roommate plays the bagpipes. Wow. And that sure is something. <laughs> Man, I can't imagine how loud that must be. You can hear bagpipes from like miles away. That reminds me of an old joke my dad told me. I don't think it's his joke. Oh wow. But um it's uh it's about like uh I guess it sort of gives away the punchline, but I'll say it anyway. <laughs> um and basically it's like the setup is uh a Scotsman has has gone to New York and he and he lived there in an apartment building for uh for for like a year. And uh, he returns. He returns back to his old uh, his village to to tell about how what it was like living there, and he he's telling them that it was uh it was, it was pretty good, you know, living living in the big city. But every night at around uh, you know around one or two in the morning, there'd be strange knockings on the floors, and strange knockings on the walls, and strange knockings on the ceiling. And uh, and the the his his friend that he's telling the story to says, "Well, what what would you do, McTavish?" And he said, "Well, just carry on playing with bagpipes." It's the na- the neighbors knocking on the to tell him to stop playing the bagpipes. Yes, yeah. <laughs> That's all. That's all the joke is. But it's you know, strange uh, knockings. Strange knockings. Strange knockings on the walls. I like this joke. <laughs> um. um. As long as as long as we're doing uh, old jokes, can I tell an uh, an old joke? Absolutely, Colby. Like a street joke, please, okay. please. So a uh, a bear walks into a bar, mm-hmm. and uh, he sits down at the bar, and the bartender says, uh, um, "What can I get you?" And the bear says, "Well, um, 
well, you know, what's your specialty? What's something you make like really nice? And the bartender says, you know, I, uh, I hate to say it, but I make a mean martini. And the, bar, and the bear says, all right, I'll have one of those. How much do I owe you? Now, the bartender looks at the bear, and he, uh, um, he thinks to himself, you know, this bear probably doesn't go to a lot of bars. You know, I can probably get a little extra money from oh. this bear. Uh, so he tells him $25. Wow. So the bear doesn't even doesn't blink, just goes into his wallet, pulls out $25, <laughs> puts the cash on the bar, and uh, gets the martini. So some time goes by and the bartender and the bear are talking and uh, they really bond, you know, they kind Aww. of reach, they, 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 they talk about some stuff that's kind of surprising for both of them and they, uh, uh, they, they bond in a way that they did not expect to the point where the bartender looks down at his watch, he realizes the shift ended 20 minutes ago. So he says to the bear, you know, hey, I got to start, uh, uh, I got to start heading out here. Um, my shift is over, but I just got to tell you, you know, it was really good talking to you. And, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's rare that I get somebody who's this good of a conversationalist in here. And um, it was really, it, you know, it just felt really good to, I feel like we, you know, we kind of like kind of got a little friendship going today. And the bear says, I feel exactly the same way. And the bartender says, you know, I just have to say, and I hope this is okay. You know, we don't get a lot of your kind here in the bar. And the bear says, well, with $25 martinis, I can't imagine why. (laughs) (laughs) That's good. That's the joke. That's a good joke. (laughs) I love jokes like that. (laughs) That's just a fun, that's just a fun, like fun fun world to to live and play in for it a little is. while i also realized i i uh uh kept you from announcing the end of this drawing which is spectacular nate thank you no i just get to add some more details to it um so yeah this is this is a fancy bird i think he's pretty good um i love this uh yeah thank you colby oh my gosh yeah, man uh all right let me read some more uh uh, I think it's Loop Liches was the last one I read. So, uh, Ganyquiz, uh, Uplos, Umbreon, seven one seven, uh, subscribed and also gave out two subs. Thank you, Umbreon, and one for the dagger. Thank you all so much for subscribing, everyone. This is really, this is really special. This is, you know, I was I was really looking forward to uh getting getting to affiliate and um. Thank, thank y'all for helping me get here, and thanks for the subs. And I'm excited to uh, to get these emotes ready for you. So I think, yeah, I'm gonna go. Let's let's uh, let's. Pl- <laughs> thanks. <laughs> let's go. Let's do the. Let's let's. I think this elephant one is pretty good. Um, let me pull up my little square background for it so I get the dimensions correct. Um. So it is more rectangular. Maybe if I tilt it up some, I can get, you know, it's like, yay. Yeah. Really use the space, you know? Um, get get as much Yeah, here we go. Get as much space out of it as we can. And then yeah, let's try let's 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 really thicken up these lines and make it uh make it something that I can uh I can have up on the channel. I'll try and get those up uh, ahead of my stream on uh, Wednesday with my brother. And let's just, yeah, let's just really go thick with it. Kotor playthrough. Kotor playthrough, yeah. Um, What's happening in the game? Right? Are, are you starting it on Wednesday or you've been doing it? I, this will be my um, my third time playing it. So it okay. was, I, I started it, I, I've done it once a week since I started this channel. And uh, I started this channel two weeks ago, so okay. it'll be so still pretty early. Yeah, we're still meeting new characters. Uh, we're meeting new characters. I just got mission in my party. Oh, yeah. And yes. so we are we are going to try and find Big Z, uh, <laughs> who has been kidnapped by Gamorians in the yeah. sewers. And I'm doing this thing that I read about online, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it successfully but i'm trying it where you don't level up your character at all in the first Mm -hmm. part 
so that when you finally become a Jedi, spoilers, um, you have maximum levels as a Jedi. So you get the most possible force powers ah. and Jedi stuff. Uh, so you stay level two and you basically rely on the strength of your party to get you through Terrace. Gotcha. It's also funny playing through because like, um, I forgot a lot about just sort of like the plot of the of the beginning of the game, but Terrace is under quarantine. Uh, yeah. When, when you're playing, and it's like, it's different, but it's it's just you you hear the word quarantine a lot playing the game, and you're like, oh, I wonder if this is not uh, providing the level of escape that uh, people were hoping for when tuning yes. in. Um, <laughs> yeah. You want to be carried off to this galaxy far, far away, and you're just brought all the closer to home. Yeah, it's it's under quarantine. Like the Sith are are awful, but like also the people who live on the upper level of Terrace are like horrible and like racist to aliens. And yeah. uh, it's like the city is literally like set up in tiers. So there's the upper city, the lower city, and the under city. So there's like all this like classism and inequality. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's like. I mean, it's cool. I like what I like about it is it it pulls no punches, and it's like these are clearly bad people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Doing these things, and it's like yeah. Like if this game came out now, everyone, every like gamer on Twitter would be like, "This game is so political. <laughs> Keep politics out of my games." It's like no, it's just we used to be able to distinguish right from wrong. <laughs> right. Yes. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I think that's one Sorry of the to get political of... here on the stream just now, but <laughs> that's what you get. Yeah, that's what you Sorry. get sometimes. Nathan is kind of the Russell Brand of Twitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm basically, <laughs> basically the Russell Brand of Twitch. That's what I, <laughs> that's what I like to 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 say. That's sort of my personal Russell Brand. <laughs> See what I did? It's one of the coolest things about the game, though. It's just like how like seriously they take that stuff, and it yeah. just like it feels like a, a really like lived in like real world. Uh, I, I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun. You're inspiring me to maybe do my own uh, my own little playthrough. You should. I mean, I just the reason I did it was I I wanted to play it, and I was like, can I turn this into content? That's that's basically it. how my brain works these days. It's like, can I turn this into content? It's like I I missed I haven't just gotten to hang out and chat with a lot of my friends because of the quarantine. So yeah, can I turn that into content? Can I have them on my show? <laughs> this has been a real treat. It continues to be a real treat. We've got like another for me as well forty five minutes or so to do this. Now, Nathan, were you, as far as, like, gaming stuff goes, were you into uh, 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 Red Dead Redemption 2 at all? I, uh, I don't own, uh, I don't own, like, a PlayStation or an Xbox. Gotcha, I only, gotcha. I only have the... Your Nintendo down the line. I've got a Nintendo and I've got a, a Mac, so I can't even play, like, all the good PC games. I'm really, I'm really limited in that in that front but it's just anytime i've ever owned a pc it has gotten a virus almost <laughs> immediately yes um like i had a gaming laptop in in high school and it just it just didn't like me very yeah. much i don't i don't know why i'm so bad at computers and i mean this this mac even is having is having trouble yeah uh with with my drawings but you know we make it work we mac it work. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see how this how this ink job looks, and let's. Um... Nathan, we've gotten a couple of requests to shout out uh, Drew, aka Dropout and Chill. Oh because... yeah, it was it was their birthday recently. Uh, her her birth yeah 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 it's her birthday recently, and um, just check. Yeah, Dropout and Chill. Just check. Yeah, it was her birthday recently, and uh, oh, it's technically today, kind of. Okay, right, because uh, she lives in Australia. So yeah, absolutely. Happy birthday, uh, Drew. Drew is one of like 
I, w- I would say a force within the, the Drawfee fan community, a force of good and positivity and uh and just a just a great person it's just it's really fun like one of one of the most unexpected things about doing uh doing an internet show and becoming like somewhat internet famous is just like getting to have these like just getting to know about people who exist Mm -hmm. who are cool and good and it makes you know in in times being what they are any little example of people being good is so welcome 100 <laughs> percent agree. <laughs> so yeah thank you drew for being one of those and, uh, uh, apparently yeah. it's it's lumpy monster's birthday today too so well, happy birthday lumpy monster. Well, happy birthday lumpy monster as well yeah always happy to give a birthday shout you got out some birthday twins on the chat wow incredible all right, let me, uh, I'm just going to shrink this down and see if the lines are thick enough. Um, yeah, that looks like, that looks like it would read at a small size. I'm trying to see. Yeah, yeah, I think that'd be good. So let's, um, all right, let's, uh, let's color this. Let's color this elephant. I'm kind of partial to like, a, you know, when, when you have to do grays in drawings, mm-hmm. I'm kind of partial to doing like uh, skewing a little purple, Ooh. just just to give it a little bit of a a little bit of extra color. Not just doing a full grayscale gray, but yeah, a little a little perp, a little perp never hurt. <laughs> uh, as I don't know who says that, I say that, and it's my yeah. stream, so good. <laughs> maybe maybe I could saturate it up even a, a little bit more. Let's see. Whoa. Let's see. Yeah. That let's just so cool. let's make a purple elephant. Who cares? I love purple. <laughs> Who cares? Um That's and then, awesome. And then we can contrast that with a with a little bit of yellow for the tusks cuz purple and yellow are of course complementary colors on the old color Uh-oh. wheel. Getting a little Getting a, uh, from Umbreon 717 Nathan dark brown lines work better than black for Twitch emotes. That's good to know. Is that going to mess you up? Let's see. Let's see if I can just uh, do a dark brown. Um, let's do a dark brown. See how that works. How's that? How's that look? Looks pretty good, I think. Yeah. You go a little, maybe a little darker. Because of dark mode, uh, shaving and haircut suggests. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, well, I could also give it like an additional white outline on top of the um, on top of the dark outline too. Like maybe maybe I'll take this uh, this yellow that I have on the tusks and do like a like a secondary outline for it as well. So it so it pops when we're in dark mode. I don't know. Duskalicious says, "I live in the dark mode. I was born in." Yeah. You merely adopted the dark mode. <laughs> uh, rewatched that movie early on in the quarantine. Oh, for sure. Holds up okay. It's you know, I like I like the Bane voice. Me too. I um, I don't know if you've watched any of the the Harley Quinn animated show. Uh, is it, how recent are we talking? It's, no, I don't think I have. Yeah, it's like it's relatively recent. My friend Tim okay. did uh, did color on uh, on I think season one of it. I don't know if he mm. worked on season two as well. But the the Bane character in that show looks like the it's it's like the character model is based off of uh, I believe the Bruce Tim Bane, uh, like the way Bane looked in the Batman the Animated Series. Yeah, but the voice is James Adomian doing, uh, doing the like Bane from Dark Knight Rises voice, <laughs> and it's very funny. It's it's just like I'm going to explode you. <laughs> I will be the sandwich's reckoning. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, Joker! You'll oh. never guess who's at this party. <laughs> Did you see the Harley Quinn movie this I did. Past? 
I I liked it quite a bit. I liked it too. I thought it was a lot of fun. I think they they waited too long to change the title from Birds of Prey to Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey because yeah. it's like that's that's your title character there, bud. But I thought it yeah. was really good. I I hadn't seen um Suicide Squad. Um mm. I'm not really big into the whole DC cinematic universe. Right, if I, right. If I'm being perfectly honest, it's not my favorite. Um, I watched uh, Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice and did not care for it. Um, <laughs> no, nothing against anyone who who did enjoy it. Uh, let me let me clarify. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, you like what you like. We we've talked about this on the show. I think it was um, on Friday stream. People people were really talking about how they uh, a lot of people uh in who who are uh watch the stream do not like the office and uh it's one of my oh. favorite shows but Whoa. i but i i don't you know i don't fault you for disliking it i think it's a valid opinion to have to not to not like the office yeah and i think that extends to any piece of media you don't have to like it if you don't like it you know totally um, god bless you god bless you and yeah like <laughs> There was a time in my life where I felt it was very important to like craft an identity around liking certain pieces of media and Totally. You know, if you're there right now, I get it. It's like an easy way to sort of feel like you're part of something and I mean obviously people feel that way about the stuff I make and so I appreciate that people uh that people so strongly like the things that I make. Right. But you know, art is subjective. Entertainment is is art. You like what you like. You don't have yes. to like what you don't like. And I think that's valid. It is like, it's so freeing to get to that point where you're just like, I'm just going to not let these bother me. You yeah. know, <laughs> to be like, I, I like my stuff. I don't like this other stuff. But like, that's where kind of where it stops. Like, it doesn't say anything about me. It doesn't say anything about anybody else. Right uh it's just like things we enjoy or don't enjoy right like and 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 it's hard because like obviously people and and fandoms get conflated like i know the rick and morty fandom has oh, yes. has been known to be uh not the best i still very much enjoy that show uh it's, I, it's so good i think it's really good and funny um the one show that I will uh, I will stake my my whole uh, personality on liking <laughs> is Joe Para talks to you. Oh, yeah. I think that show is a flawless piece of of media, and it's wonderful. If you don't like that show, you are incorrect. That is, <laughs> after saying everything I said, uh, <laughs> I make I, I make an exception for that. Um, yes. It is so cool. If if I could go off on that show just for a second. Please, I, I opened the door for you. Walk through it. So, like, you and I have known who Joe Para is for, uh, what, seven years, something like that? Yeah, yeah, we've, you know? we've seen him around doing the shows. Yeah, he's he's been a fixture of, like, just, like the New York comedy scene. Just always uh, super funny to yeah. watch. And he would do these bits that was just like him reading a long like essay or something to put just like in that voice you yeah. know it was like it's the whole this whole thing is just like very like wholesome and he managed to like do any artist's dream which is like take this character of his and like make something even bigger that like is still that sensibility yeah. you know like he, it's he didn't compromise. Like it's so unique to him. Like he's the only one who could make that show. Exactly. Um, and uh, I just think that's so inspiring. Like he's such a true weirdo, and he just like he did it. He made it. You yeah. Know? And like um, everyone involved in that show, Connor O'Malley, uh, Dan, Dan Licata, Licata, Joe Firestone. Like they're all they're they're all so good. Mm -hmm. I'm such such a big fan of all those people. Season two had a. Uh, um, Brad Howe, another comedian in New York, I think is really funny. Oh yeah, um, yeah, it was on, and um, it's just so cool. It's like this that was that show is a win for the good guys. It's just it's just a real treat. Joe Para talks with Joe, you. Joe, Joe Para talks <laughs> with you. Um, I love it. 
the the grocery store episode is like one of my all-time faves oh, it's that's incredible <laughs> that one the um the one the the church announcements one the church amount announcements one i was like scream laughing the entire absolutely. time absolutely absolutely this is the episode where he just he just he hears the song teenage wasteland by the who for the first yeah. time <laughs> <laughs> it's actually called uh baba o'reilly I yes, don't know yeah. why. Yeah, Dan Licata's in that episode. Dan Licata has the joke where he's just like, I don't know why it's called that, but uh, I guess uh, if you make the greatest rock song of all time, you can call it whatever the hell you want. <laughs> <laughs> Give it some sparklies. Uh, Two sparklies up wonderful. here. and Joshua of me is saying it looks like Joe Para is from my native Michigan. I'm pretty sure they shoot the show there. Yeah. Um, which is also very cool. I like when shows don't shoot in, in big cities. I think that's rad. Is that where he's from? I thought he was I from. He, I thought he was from I Buffalo. He, I I do. I think he is. He, he definitely like grew up in Buffalo. I mean, maybe mm-hmm. he was like born in Michigan. Um, gotcha. But uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's a very like north north uh, mid Midwesty, but like northern Midwesty sort of yeah. like cozy sweater sort yeah. of sort of vibe that he's got. Yeah. Um. I still like. I remember. One of one of the I saw him perform. I guess like one of the last live shows I went to, I saw him perform at um at the uh, at Union Hall, mm-hmm. and he had he had this bit where he was like reading excerpts from um like a bathroom book that he wanted to to make. <laughs> yes, it's like, and one one of them like it's just like an introduction, um, and and it's like maybe you're. Uh, maybe you're in here to uh, to just use the facilities. Maybe you're at a fancy restaurant and the check came. And it was more than you expected, and you need to come up with a plan. <laughs> <laughs> just like <laughs> the specificity of his words. It's like everything is so crafted and just like thoughtful and effortless at the same time. Uh, this has been, we talk about how much we love Joe Para uh, and his work. I also really yes. like like Dan Licata and uh, and his stuff, too. Yeah. Uh, Saturday Night Live Zone. Yeah. Dan Licata. Incredible. Incredible yeah. stuff. All right. So I think so this, cool. I think this emote's ready. I think, like, I can, I can just go ahead and, and upload this at a, at a small size. I think it'll look pretty good. This is awesome. Um... Let's save that and uh, let's title this crew. This is Elephant Emote. Um, let's do the soup. Let's do the matzo ball soup yeah, as well. Yeah, let's do the soup. Let's do the soup. Let's move the square down. Close that. That's not the soup. That's not the soup. <laughs> um, where to soup? Where to soup at? I guess I don't need to move the square up though. Uh, bu- 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 <laughs> it's fun to look at all the things I've drawn. There's the soup. There's that soup that we love Dude, so much. That soup. <laughs> that of, was from uh, Double it. Forte. Shrink it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So it'll be like this, and we'll uh, we'll make the steam a little bit higher up, and that should fill out the square shape, the square space. If you need a website, Squarespace. Not sponsored yet, but you know, it's only a matter. If of any, time. if anyone's watching from Squarespace, happy to happy to take your money to talk about the website that everybody oh, yeah. uses already. Um, yep. I think I'm going to use that same brown for the outline because I did like that. That was good advice. Yeah, that was cool. I'll take Whoa. that. Yep, that's just what happens. That's a- that is cool just when you have too many layers open at once (laughs) that is cool okay um let's let's thicken it up let's get real thick let's get real thick with it real chunk real chunk oh so Colby, how have you been? Uh, how have you been weathering the quarantine? I know you're doing your radio show, and you're yep. you're at uh you're at your girlfriend Hallie's place. But what uh mm-hmm. what have you been up to? Um, you know we uh, and I'm still still uh, 
hanging in there pretty okay. You know, it's it's uh, it's funny. You know, I I I said the other day that I I I you know, it, the hard thing is not being able to you know perform comedy as usual. Right. But like the rest of my interests are mostly things that can happen in the apartment. <laughs> uh, and for that, I just feel like very like lucky that like, you know, I'm like into movies and I read a lot. So it's like, it's, it, it that stuff can happen anywhere. Um, I'm reading this, but I'm sure that this is up your alley, Nathan. You, you, have you read Barbara Ehrenreich before? No, no, um, I have not. I listen, it, it might, it might surprise you, but I'm, I don't read very much. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I'm not good. I'm not a good. Uh, I'm not a literary person as much. Well, you as say I... that, but you, uh, you, you are the world's leading sharer of articles. <laughs> that's all. I, that's all I do on on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. I just share articles because I'm like I have nothing to say. It's like I don't have anything to add to right. the noise that isn't like someone. Someone has written it better. So yeah, I'll share an article. I can yeah. read an article, especially I love the the websites that tell you how long it'll take you to read the article. <laughs> so you can you can compare your reading speed with what the website says it should yeah. <laughs> it should take. Yeah, I do share articles on on Facebook. That's basically all I do on Facebook. I I don't like I'll be I'll go on Twitter. I'm on Twitter way more than I'm on Facebook. All I do is find things um find things from Twitter that I think are relevant to yeah. share uh mostly because i i think like i think like one or two of my conservative relatives uh is friends with me on facebook so maybe they'll see it but like that's mm -hmm. you know that's about it yeah um, have you ever gotten into a comment war no well yes but <laughs> <laughs> the answer I, I, I mean, the yes. answer I'd like to, to to have is no. But of course, of course, I uh -huh. have. Um, yeah, it's it's hard. You every I you never feel good about it after. You're never like, wow, no. I really, I really won that argument. I love people that like can do it well. Like they're not. Um, because the goal isn't really to convince the the person who's being an asshole. It's it's to inform other people, right? That like the person who is saying these things doesn't know what they're talking about, and I don't yes. know what I'm talking about most of the time. <laughs> but like I know about a couple things, mm -hmm. and so when people try and be like, I don't, I can't, I don't even want to get into it here but <laughs> there there have been examples it's always like a friend of a friend leaves like a stupid comment um like yeah and you're just like hold on yeah uh i guess i guess like the thing that like th there's plenty to be pissed off about right now don't get me yeah. wrong and like I don't think it's any secret what my politics are. If you follow me on Twitter, like you can see the stuff that I like and retweet. I don't like make many political posts of my own because again, I think that people smarter than me um, have already said the thing better than I could. Mm -hmm. But um, the thing that I think pisses me personally off the most is like the, the cynical way that conservatives like use um like conflate being pro israel with being pro jewish mhm mm um and they're like i can't be anti semitic i i like israel and like meanwhile they post like uh you know hawk these conspiracy theories that like jews are behind migrant caravans and all that stuff anyway mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not, this isn't what, uh, wow, Lindera just gave out a bunch of subs to get so me, many to distract subs. me from what I was, thank you. Uh, uh, oh, that's so funny. Incredible. Thank you. Thank you for, for taking me off of that. I don't know. Yeah, that that stuff, like, uh, specifically to me is what, yes, is yes, what gets of me. Course. When it's like, people who clearly don't care about uh the majority of american jews speaking for us 
Um, right. So I'll get into it over that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, didn't mean to. <laughs> didn't mean to take <laughs> you down this. Road. Colby, you're do- you're doing great. I'm <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, That's so. Funny. I'm so so sorry. I'm so sorry to everyone. This is not what you came here for. <laughs> How was the stream with Nathan? Well, it was great until we talked about until I brought up Zionism. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I asked yeah, Nathan like if while ever I'm been while I'm drawing war. matzo ball soup of all things. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Um, really good, just really good stuff here on the internet. Okay, on- Nathan, I'll 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 uh, I'll I'll uh, uh, we'll zigzag away from this. Thank you. Who is your favorite character on the the show Recess? <laughs> um, I guess I guess Mikey. Yeah, Mikey's good. The big, the large, sensitive boy. Yes, he's large. Yeah. He's sensitive. I mean, I like Gus too. I think Mikey and Gus are probably my two faves. Gus, you mean El Diablo. Yes, El Diablo <laughs> of the dodgeball court. That's an incredible episode. The reason we got on that is because you were talking about like books. So wait, tell me about yes. this tell me about this book. I wanna know I, I'm sorry I took us so far <laughs> off. So I'm I, is it hot in here? Is it is it gotten <laughs> warm since good lord. I It I, would be so funny if we I were could... out of time. <laughs> Well, that's and all the like time had we- to end. Yeah. You had to end the show. Yeah, no, it's my show. I can end it whenever I want. So we're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna end it on a positive note. Yes. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what you came here for. Um, someone in the someone in the chat. I mentioned Barbara Ehrenreich, and someone in the chat mentioned Nickel and Dime, which is the book I'm reading. Uh, I did read that book. I thought you might. I read that book for school. In really the summer between ninth and tenth grade, I had to read Whoa. that book and the Grapes of Wrath. I mean, that's a very political syllabus. I love it. Yeah. Um, and then we had to write an essay, uh, sort of like drawing themes between those books, and I uh, did a really bad job because it was a timed essay, <laughs> and uh, I did I just did a bad job on it. But um, that's neither here nor there. Um, okay, so I have heard of her. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I guess I got to reread. I obviously didn't uh, internalize <laughs> the book because I, I couldn't even remember the the author's name. But um, how how you liking it? Um, it's awesome. It's like uh, so she is like a reporter who spends I think like six months or a year or something like that uh, working like low wage jobs right and then just like writes about how hard it is to live on on minimum wage and stuff like that and like mm-hmm. and she goes through a bunch of uh different like she starts in florida and then goes to maine and i'm in the minnesota chapter right now um so i'm about two-thirds of the way through um but it's really great she's like a very like funny engaging writer and she just writes about the people she meets in like a very human way um and it just you can just feel your heart swell when you read the book um and it's great. I think everybody should read it. Great. Yeah. It's kind of a serious subject, but I mean, she just has a great attitude about the whole thing. <laughs> um that's awesome. Yeah, I I got to, you know, it's I'm sure that my experience reading that would be different without having that sort of like sense of resentment that you have yes. towards having to do assigned reading. 100%. Night and B asked for the title of the book, and it's called Nickel and Dime Nickel and by Dimed. Barbara Ehrenreich. Yeah. Um, um, great. It's really, it's really wonderful. Hell yeah. Uh, someone, uh, Unfortunate Bedhead says, Nathan, can you make the YouTube VODs open to community contributions so people can subtitle them? Uh, I will look into that. Thank you for letting me know. I, uh, I'm an idiot, but anytime uh, I... I will certainly try to do that. <laughs> I hope it's I hope it's as simple as it sounds to do. All right, let's get these let's get these balls colored in. Yeah, color them in. Oh man, wow. Whew. <laughs> Still coming down. Yeah. Okay, so I've been, I've been reading that. Um, I uh, uh, been uh, working a little bit. I've been doing uh, the radio show. I've also started doing this like little like 
very silly like version of uh, or a uh, um, Instagram web series called Inbox Zero. Inbox Zero, I love Inbox Zero. Okay, I'm glad. I think I'm gonna do one this week. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Uh, um, it's... And the show is about me reading. Uh, like I have a thousand emails in my Gmail, and I I read them um, and make the video, uh, and like uh, it's very silly. <laughs> <laughs> The emails are very mean to you. They're very mean. It's basically a roast of me. Uh, the show is essentially a roast of me, so people can check that out. <laughs> That's good. But it's been a nice little project to just like keep me busy and fill the fill the hours, you know. I've been so impressed by like everyone, what everyone's doing, um, in this time. I want to get Elise on the show. She's been doing like super funny videos. Yeah, uh, Elise Morales. Elise of, Morales. Of, um, our cartoon president. Yes. Of our cartoon president of being replied to by AOC, the person she voices on our cartoon president, I believe. Yeah. She's gotten replies. She's, oh, yeah. She's good at internet. Um, um, Shaving a haircut just put the bookshop.org link to Nickel and Dimed in the chat. Um, hell yeah. And uh, that's a good because it's not Amazon and they support bookstores. So good, good on you for using bookshop.org. Good, good choice. Um, we, we say that while we're on Twitch, which is owned by Amazon. <laughs> but you know, come for me, there's, Bezos. <laughs> there's no ethical consumption under capitalism. So yeah, it's true. It's you just true. you do you do what you can. You do what you can. Um, the state Arizona has asked. This feels like a nice time to ask, have either of you seen the Middle Ditch and Swirch episodes on Netflix? They're super funny, so I'm curious, lol. Here's uh, the thing. Yeah. Go ahead, Nathan. Just your, Go ahead. Oh, uh, no, you, you you started with here's the thing. <laughs> you got to you gotta here's the thing. I want to hear the thing. Here's the thing. Um, they're funny. Yes, they are. Um, I haven't watched them yet, but I do want to. I've heard good things. Yeah, there are there are like it's it's you know the this is maybe too inside baseball for folks, but the UCB theater that the both those guys have links to just closed in New York. Yeah, um, yeah. and I watched them those specials like the same weekend that the news kind of broke, um, and it kind of softened the blow a little bit. It um, it was like really nice, and like they're not two dudes where I'm like super huge fans of like in like acting and stuff uh but like i really liked that they had those available for when i was like missing the theater that i spent all this time in when i was like a young man so um would recommend i guess awesome well now now i definitely need to check them out um yeah i, I haven't had a chance to do that yet but um it's definitely on my list yeah yeah and they're it, fun it's just like i love good improv it's mm -hmm. it's so easy to especially when we were like really into it be like I don't want to see any improv ever again in my life because you're just like you've seen you've seen enough but then you like see really good improv and you're like oh this is why we wanted to do it to yes. begin with It's like yes. every every time like there were a few um there was a team uh Area 52 there were like oh, yeah. people who are who are friends who um it's just like anytime I'd see them perform, I was just like, Oh yeah, improv is actually good. Yeah. You know, it's just like when you see people who are just like like they're they're doing the work to make it good for the people watching mm -hmm. and they're also having fun. Nothing better than yeah, that. Definitely. Um some people in the chat saying like it's cool that long form improv is so like available right now and like yeah i agree like uh if you're like wanting to watch some of that stuff if like middle ditch and swirch gave you the bug um the ucb theater in new york used to do a show called cage match um and a bunch of those sets are on youtube that you can like uh you can just watch um and like it's a bunch of really funny teams Start with Death by Ruru and go from there. Yes. If you're looking to get the bug. Get the bug. And some of those sets are like the stuff that I watched over and over again when I was like first starting to do that kind of thing. So um, lots of happy memories. It's good stuff. <laughs> it's good stuff. This soup looks... I haven't eaten dinner yet, uh, and I am... Um, I really want to eat this soup. Hell yeah. <laughs> 
Let me, you know what? I think I'm going to do the, the double uh, outline again. I'm going to use the same color I used for the steam for the double outline again, just so it like looks good in both light and dark mode. Let's like raise the steam up just to, just a smidge. Ooh. Maybe do that sort of thing. And then we'll go bop. We'll bop over there. And I think when I'm done with that, that should leave us just enough time to do a name game. And um, if um, Mike Eagle Dick is still here, I would love to give Mike Eagle Dick uh, a shot. Mike Eagle Dick is still here. Well, then I think I'm going to draw Mike Eagle Dick. <laughs> the only non emote things that I've drawn on stream are going to have been uh, bird related, which I think is a nice, <laughs> just sort of a nice symmetry there. Yeah, they symbolize freedom. Yes. Uh, something we desperately yearn <laughs> for in these trying times. Yes. Um, oh, my gosh. Anyway, once again, uh, sorry for dragging that, uh, that little political soapbox <laughs> in right, right there. I feel, I feel a little self-conscious about it still, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, that's just, you know, this is this is Nathan's other show. We get crazy here. You never we get crazy. We get crazy here. This isn't Drawfee. This is my show. Uh, I, I could talk about what I want. Maybe <laughs> maybe that will oh make people God. less interested in watching Drawfee. But, you know, <laughs> I'm going to come back in to do this. nice the old Republic thing in a couple weeks. And you're going to be like Alex Jones. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, here's the thing. <laughs> These Sith Lords. <laughs> The Sith Lords walk among us. Only a Sith deals in absolutes, but I'll tell you, I absolutely hate these guys. Oh, just he'll kill my voice doing that. Um, oh, man. Alex Jones talking about uh, the Sith Lords is... That's a video for someone to do. <laughs> Tim that's Heidecker really does, a, does a really good Alex Jones voice. Uh, those guys, they're, they're so good. Um, all right, so this is, I think that's two emotes done. So we'll see, again, we'll see how they look. Let's see how this one looks real quick. Just, I think it should be good, but let's just, um, let's just see how it looks real small. See if I made the lines thick enough. Uh, and then we will draw Mike Eagle Dick. Yes. And, uh, yeah, yeah. That looks like it'd be pretty good. That looks great. That's matzo ball soup. Can't tell me it's not. I would never do that. I wonder if the blue is the right color. Maybe it should have just been like all sort of that same sort of golden. Because blue isn't a very appetizing color. I don't know. Maybe I'll mess with the colors later. But we're we're going to call this done for now. Um, We're going to draw Mike Eagle Dick. Yeah. Um, final ten minutes of the show. <laughs> final ten minutes of the show. We're gonna draw Mike Eagle Dick, and then if we have time, we'll do more. Let's see. Did we get any more? I, I shouted out that big that big block of gift subs, but I think did I miss others? I feel like I might have missed a bunch. Let's see. Where was the? Uh, whoo. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Where where was it? Where did we leave off? Oh, so many. Uh, Cantaloupe red. Rebecca, Rebecca Roney, an anonymous gifter, uh, Joshua gave to my brother, Straggly Cheetah, It's Loop Liches, Gnyquiz, Uplos, Umbreon. Uh, I said all these already, but we're, we're just going back through. One for the dagger, Umbreon again, uh, Fungal Robot, anonymous gifter, Salty Dalty, 114, Goosenberg, uh, Gnyquiz, Mad Maz 18, Lundera, Lundera with the 10 community gift subs, uh, Perfectly timed 10 community gift subs. Thank you again for those. Uh, the Plague Doctor and IG Musapa. Thank you all. Let's let's get let's get the Eagle Dick. So I think we're just sort of gonna draw We're just gonna draw the legs and then we're gonna draw the Eagle Dick. And I think that's how I think that's how this drawing is gonna go. So we got leg. We're just sort of gonna be like you know, just some legs. Nothing wrong with a couple of legs. <laughs> uh, Nathan, I'm already laughing. <laughs> <laughs> because we know what's coming. We know that the legs are just sort of the, 
the background to this 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 eagle dick that's gonna <laughs> that's gonna be happening. I think maybe oh, let's, let's give him some socks so I don't have to draw toes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who wants to? I don't want really to. burying the lead here, but I, <laughs> I just sort of we want to get this nice this nice uh, sort of form in here. Yeah, some. Uh, okay. Oh, nice. So nice. Uh, an eagle dick. So I think the eagle would be sort of like. <laughs> Is the eagle sort of looking up at at Mike? Is Mike the name of the eagle dick, or is Mike the name of the person with the eagle dick? I think it's Mike Eagle Dick is his name, and he has that name because sort of, like, of because, because of, the of eagle. his eagle dick. Okay, yeah. great, 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 great. Oh wow! I like don't even want to talk. I just want to look. <laughs> <laughs> And I mean, it's a live eagle. <laughs> it's just a full. The Domino Doorway said, "This is a girthy boy." Yeah, I mean, it's an eagle. <laughs> oh man! Here we go. <laughs> Let's go, gamers. <laughs> oh man, I'm really I'm I'm geeking. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think wings are the wings the balls? Maybe the yeah. wings are the balls. So it sort of looks like this, but they're like yeah. feathers. <laughs> I don't, you know, <laughs> I, I, it should be a little smaller. <laughs> it should be a little small. We don't want to. We don't want to go crazy here. This is. This is. This would be un untenable. This would be unwieldy. Oh my god! This this the size of it now is like perfect in a way that I'm uncomfortable with. Yeah, I think that's what that, that's what I wanted. No one should feel good about this. Uh, oh man, this place that we've we've gone. Rebecca Roney said, "You know how flipping the bird means fuck you." Well, now there's this. Yeah, I have flipped the bird. That's really funny. Um, I've heard of flipping the bird. But this, but this is, is ridiculous. ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I got to do it, but this is ridiculous on your show, Nathan. <laughs> I'm glad too. <laughs> I'm really glad. I'm glad about everything that's happened. <laughs> Uh, this, I, I think everything, everything, every single thing I've done and said on this episode, uh, I'm happy about, I can't imagine any of it coming back to bite me. Same here, in man. Any, in any capacity. Get um, us, Bezos. <laughs> I inter- love this idea that Bezos himself is like monitoring Twitch streams. Yeah. His most, his most lucrative business, Twitch. <laughs> he really cares about this aspect of it um <laughs> uh rob adair says somebody else suggested this but american flag socks oh, okay sure how would that how would that work so like the would the toes be the stars let's have the toes be the yes, stars that is that is good and then the the stripes sort of come come off of those like this yeah that's awesome beautiful yeah um I mean what's more American than having an eagle dick? I don't know. <laughs> God, the hair on the legs too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. I I'm so oh, excited. Amazing. I want everybody I just like this was such a treat, Colby, and I'm just like thinking about all of our other friends that I want to have on here and get get them to 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 get to know uh, the fans that I've that I've gotten during my time working for the internet, and that they they can get to know this whole this whole group of of funny people that I I get to call friends. Um, I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a great time. Nathan, I loved this. This was so fun. It went by so fast. Uh, it's so fun to talk to you. Everybody in the chat is so fun. Um, this really could not have been better for me. <laughs> and, uh, and the other thing that I was thinking about, cause you mentioned you are, um, you know, you, you don't get to perform live anymore. Uh, is that like, I kind of want to try piloting a version of the show where it's like, we do the, the chatting and, and talking part, but like if people want to bring 
material we can just like set aside a portion of the stream to like do the material i will be a captive audience uh slat like you know so that you have the laugh track of me uh but then also maybe i'll do that thing where i like draw some of the some of the st- the topics oh yeah so like you're doing i would need you'd you'd probably want to have the actual performer's face on screen for for that bit because i imagine a lot of the 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 comedy comes from the facial expressions oftentimes yeah. but um oh my god mike betancourt coming in strong right at the end with 25 gift subs so many that's awesome thank you so much thank thank you everyone uh as we just sort of gaze at this majestic eagle dick um just a real treat but yeah i i don't know i I'd, I'd have to work out exactly how that would work but i you know i'd love to give people an opportunity to like do their material uh, totally. as well i didn't want to spring that on you for this one because <laughs> i just thought of it like while we were doing it and i was yeah. like i don't want to i don't want to force you to do material if you weren't if you weren't ready but like totally you're an incredibly well, yeah, funny let's... stand-up and thank you people, so much for saying that people should get to enjoy that I really appreciate that, and I'd be happy to be a part of anything you put together. Um, well, awesome. Thanks so much for doing it. We're right at the 7.30 mark. Um, what a treat. Uh, I'm, I've got the two emotes done, uh, and I'll see if I can finish some other ones uh, before Wednesday, but we'll definitely post those two uh, to the channel uh, so people can use those. Colby, once again, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me at Colby J Smith on Twitter um, and at Colb about town on Instagram. Oh, people want a review of all the drawings. Okay. Let's real quick. Let's real quick. Take a look at all the drawings we did. That's Colby. That's my Colby. Yay. Uh, Colby caricature. Um, this is the, we, the we, the we emote. <laughs> um, this is the elephant. Uh, that one's done. And the matzo ball soup, that one's also done. And then my parents, a little sketch of them. Oh, this fancy bird. Oh, I love fancy bird. Did I do any others? I feel like I did. No, maybe that was all I did. You know? Who's to say? This is a... Oh, of course. Thanks. (laughs) Can't forget about thanks and oh, okay. Oh, yes. There they are. There they went. They were in there. I don't know what that and was. And this guy. Yeah, yeah. And that, that was just a placeholder. Uh, and then, of course, Mike Eagle Dick again. Uh, all right. Well, there there you have it. Uh, I'm going to... Let's see who's who's on right now that I can raid. Uh, <laughs> we love to raid. Uh, love to end the stream by doing a raid. So let's see who's available. Carolyn, of course, is playing her Pokemon Nuzlocke run. Um, so I'll start that raid. Thank you. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching. Seriously. It really means a lot. Thanks for all the subs. Uh, this was a great first stream as an affiliate and Colby, of course, thank you for being part of it. Thanks again for asking me, Nathan. It was such a blast. I had a great time. Such a treat. Such a treat getting to talk. We should just hang out. We should, we We should should. do like, we should do like a watch party or something that I, I would love that. Yeah. Just get, get the, get the whole crew together, do some stuff. Let's make plans right now on the stream. (laughs) Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to start the raid. Here we go. We're starting the raid. Here we go. It's going to start. And I'm going to remember to end the stream once the raid starts and not just accidentally keep it going. Here we go. The raid is going to start. Thanks, everybody. Uh, Let me put up my ending screen. Uh, Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, Tune in Wednesday for more stuff. Love you all. Bye. Raid. And we are stopping.